Welcome to our new video from Cancel. In this video, we are going to go through displaying the Genesis Precision in Trimble Axis. As a surveyor, it's very important when you go to the field and you collect your measurements to make sure that your measurements are close to each other. That means that you have a precise job. Close to each other means that the difference between them is very small. And not like this case here on the right side, where yes, you have accurate measurements, but they are not close to each other. That's mean that the precision is an issue in this job. Therefore, when you are using a Trimble axis inside an RTK procedure, you might notice in the top right corner there, <clears throat> the RTK values in uh, precision values in for your horizontal measurements and your vertical measurements. It's very important to understand that Trimble is offering those kind of values at different confidence level depending on how uh, how many of those measurements are used to compute uh, the, the precision value uh, uh, inside Trimble Axis. Trimble Axis is offering the ability to compute the, uh, uh, the precision values uh, uh, in, with four different confidence level. As you can see here, we have the one sigma, the uh, distance root mean square, the 95% and 99%. Those four options and or those uh, four levels are different based on the percentage of the uh, used measurements to compute uh, the precision value. It's very important to understand that by default, uh, Trimble Axis is showing the distance root mean square as your default uh, uh, precision percentage. For example, as you can see here, we have uh, different horizontal and vertical precision value that you can might notice that the values are changed based on the used level or the used percentage. Now let's see how we can change this inside our triple axis. Now, as you can see here, we are inside the measuring procedure and it's shown to me that the horizontal precision is seven mil and the vertical precision is 16 mil. So what if I wanted to enhance or so as you can see here, we are inside the measurement procedure inside the triple axis. And as I can see here in the top right corner, these are the horizontal uh, precision value and the vertical precision value. We are now currently uh, within our pre measurement procedure. We have 7 mil horizontal precision value and 16 mil vertical precision value. Now, how can I change the uh, adopted uh, percentage uh, to compute those kind of values? So I will have to go to the job properties. So I will go and click on the uh, job inside my uh, menu here and go down there to my properties. And inside my properties, I can see the units. And the units options here, if you go all the way down, you can see the precision display. And here are my four different precision display levels. So basically the one sigma here will use about 34% of your horizontal measurements and about 68% of your vertical measurements to compute um, uh, the precision value. The distance root mean square will use about 68% in horizontal and in vertical to compute your precision value. 95 and 99%, as you can tell from their names here, this 95 will use 95% of your measurements and the 99 will use a 99% of your measurements. So if you change, for example, let's go for the 99% here, and I will accept that. I will have to reopen my job again. And now you can see the horizontal precision value is 15 mil and the vertical precision value is 41 mil. That's all for now. Thank you.